Let us turn to God in prayer. Prepare our hearts, O God, to accept your word. Silence in us any but your own voice, that hearing we may also obey your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Our first scripture lesson is from Isaiah 64, one through nine, which can be found on page 680 of your Pew Bible. The book of the prophet Isaiah contains various series of prophetic poems regarding seeking justice and righteousness. Our reading for this morning is a prayer of penitence. The prophet Isaiah is inviting us to see that God is our potter and we are simply the work of God's hands. Listen now to these very assuring words. O God, O that you would tear open the heavens and come down so that the mountains would quake at your presence as when fire kindles brushwood and the fires cause water to boil to make your name known to your adversaries so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down from the mountains and the mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. But you were angry and we sinned. Because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We fade like a leaf and our iniquities like the wind take us away. There is no one who calls your name or attempts to hold you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our father. We are the clay and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O oh Lord, and do not remember the inequity forever. Now consider we are all your people. May God bless the reading and hearing of Holy Scripture. 